guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. This is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. If you notice, I'm cranking out a lot of videos here today. I think I've got three or four, but I've got so many in my backlog and my I open a, every time I find something interesting, I open a Windows tab and I've got Windows tabs all over the place. So I'm trying to clear out some of these stories and I suffer from insomnia. Some nights I just have a lot of thoughts going in my head about my bus and about this and so I figured I'd knock out a couple more videos for you guys. Um, tonight, I wanted to talk a little bit about, we've talked about the selectivity of uh, dating apps, how when women are swipe, swiping on the dating apps, how they're very selective in what they deem worthy, not worthy. <clears throat> and a young woman swiped for six months. And I, I from my understanding, she, she just broke out the data out of curiosity and decided to share it on a reddit forum called dating or uh, uh, data is cool or something like that and so i'm going to bring up the graphic here and then we're going to start talking about it because it pretty much validates what we know but there's going to be some surprises in the end and it's going to revert back to kind of like i talked about in some of my other videos so here we see uh she swiped <clears throat> she left swiped 8,829 times out of 9,898. So basically out of 10,000 swipes, she swiped left about 9,000 times. That's the one in 10, 10 the top 10% she swiped right on. <clears throat> so she right, swiped right 1,069 times. This is six months of data. So she's had 10,000 matches in six months. That's like 1,500 uh, guys or 1,500 times that she swiped. And in that six months, she found a thousand. So she had ten thousand to choose from. This is why we tell you: do not use dating apps, fellas. You're just wasting your time. Because even if you are, let's say in that top ten percent of fellas that she swiped right on, okay, out of ten thousand, she's got a thousand sixty-nine to now work through. Okay, so there's a thousand sixty-nine. She said these are good, top ten percenters. But she obviously didn't pick that many. So let's let's look at them. So. Out of a, a 1,069 that she swiped right on, 200 were not matched back with her. They just said, not interested. So that leaves her with 870 matches, okay? So out of the 1,000, she got almost 900. So again, you're competing against 900 of the other guys. Uh, she didn't get messages, or and she did not message 372 of them. She did get messages from 500. We're now at the top 5% of guys she actually communicated with, or they communicated with her. Um, now, when it says no response, I don't know if they didn't respond to her or she didn't respond to them. I'm guessing out of those messages, she got messaged 498 and she did not respond 191. She responded to 307 out of 10,000. We're now at 3% of the guys that she's actually now communicating with. Of those, she did not meet up with 286 of them. She didn't meet up with 286 of them. However, she met up with 21 of them. So if 300% is three, or 300 of them is 3%, she turned down 2.9% of those and she met up with 21, which is point, what, z, uh, point zero two percent point two percent I don't know. It's small. It's less, way less than 1%. So if you are a guy and you're on these apps at all and you're wondering why am I not getting swiped? Why do I not get any any any, you know, uh matches? Then you do get a match. Okay, I messaged her. Why am I not hearing anything from her? I thought it was witty. I thought it was interesting. I tried to go out of my way. It's a numbers game. They're getting so much thrown at them. And yes, many of these guys, you know, we talk about a lot of these guys might be thirsty or they might be whatever, but there's still 10% of them that are, except by the time it comes all the way down to it, it's this tiny, tiny fraction. 21 she met up with out of 10,000. So when you don't get that match, don't sweat it. When you don't hear back from her, no problem. Okay, if you do talk to her, but it fizzles out or you don't get another going to happen. That's the way you have to look at this stuff. Or you could just say, you know what? I'm going to save a lot of my time, my headaches, my effort. I'm not going to bother with these things. And and because remember, a lot of these also, a lot of girls are out there just doing this for validation, right? All right, next, next we come over here to, uh, I have another, oh, I have one more screen to share here. There we go. So this is the perception of uh, attractiveness 
from guys to girls, right? So the men as rated by women and women rated as by men. So the first, <coughs> the guys, the, this is how the guys, this gray area here, this is how this bell curve, this is kind of normal. Like there were some way down here close to one, but they're not a, truly a one. Uh, and then it comes kind of, and the average is right here, right around three. And then it comes back down and they rated just a sliver here at like 4.9. So it's a pretty normal, healthy bell curve. Here, if we look at the ladies, they found that the majority of men, the average here was like around two and they tapered off to very few three and a tiny, tiny sliver four. So again, remember we talk about the 80-20. Here's 80% 80 of uh, all these women found 80%. Actually, they almost found 100% of men are not in the top 20%. <laughs> if, the, if that makes sense for you, right? So all men out of one to five, all men are only a four. That's as high as they get. And the weighted average comes to, it looks like close to 1.8 to maybe two it says here the red chart is centered barely a quarter of the way up the scale only one guy in six one guy in six is even above average so five out of six are just average in an absolute sense uh, appeal isn't something commonly quantified like this so let me put it in a more familiar context Translate this plot to an intelligent quotient, and you have a world where the women think 58% of men are rocks. <laughs> now the men on OKCupid okay aren't actually uh, ugly. I tested that experiment, pitting a random set of our users against a comparable random sample from a social network and got the same scores for both groups. And it turns out you get patterns like the above on every single dating site I've seen. Tinder match, uh, date, hookup sites that together cover about half the single people in the United States. It just turns out that men and women perform a different calculus. Okay, so we see here, like we've talked about before, that even on the dating apps, on any of the dating apps, the women just sit back and they choose. And even if you are a 9.9 .9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, there's many other 10 out of 10s that are competing for her attention. The last graphic I'm going to show here is a little bit of a story. <coughs> Women can no longer afford to be so picky. Of course, men's fault. Are you picky or discerning? And uh, it says here, on the, and, and this is, again, this is what I was talking about when, when age, right? The, the 20s, ladies have all the choices 30s when women are in their very selective stage where they want to settle they want to have a family so on and so forth they're more selective then they're very selective then but it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to get a match right but in the 40s the guys pull ahead in the brave new world that is online dating in 2018 men are typecast as sausage factories looking for an indiscriminate hump Women, on the other hand, have a reputation for weighing up everything from prospective guys' annual salary and uh, wit wittiness per tweet to the rate at which they're going bald. Oh, I'm going bald at 100%, and it is beautiful. In response, dating apps like Bumble, in which women are the prime movers of any interaction, have sprung up, and it furthers the story that women are pickier than men, and by saying that, we aren't saying it isn't true. It's just not true of everyone, especially apparently guys in their 40s. The Queensland University of Technology yesterday published a study on online dating behavior of more than 41,000 Australians. The result, results show that when it comes to the education level of a partner, women date up, not down, uh, or marry up, not down. Uh, although women under 40 are more particular from this age onward, the tables turn although they are less likely to advertise it on Twitter, men become the pickiest. As reported by Science Daily, women in peak fertility are more picky about the education level of men they prefer, seeking the same level or higher in a potential mate. Over 40, however, men become more picky than women about the education level of their partner. We asked Damien Dicey, a dating coach at the School of Attraction, why he thinks this. According to him, it comes down to supply and demand. 
Women tend to date older men. This trend is stronger the younger women are. So a 21-year-old woman has a lot less likely, is a lot less likely to date a 19-year-old guy than a 33-year-old woman is to date a 31-year-old man. This means that men who are 25 really only have choices of women below or at their current age bracket with some exceptions. But again, we're just talking trending numbers. On top of this, younger men are generally less desirable. And see, we've, we've talked about this a few times, right? Guy in his 20s has the not many options. He can go a little bit younger, but those girls are usually looking for somebody that's a little more established and have a little bit more going on in their lives. But once you move up into the 30s, the things change a little bit for the guy, right? Um, they don't go on to say here that, but the 30-year-old guy and a 33-year-old woman, she has no problems dating a 31-year-old guy at that point in time because uh, she's not quite as selective. But remember that 31-year-old guy is more selective even at that age because he's got a whole lot of years below him now, everything from 21 on up to 31. On top of this, younger men are generally less desirable. They're less socialized, more unpredictable, less able to provide security for a potential family and overall less mature than their female counterparts, he said. So young men can't afford to be choosy while younger women are attractive to men of a larger range of ages. This means that once men get older, their options in the dating pool open up, doubly so if they're well-educated and have a secure career. Add in the fact that as men get older, they tend to target uh, young women, and suddenly around the age cited in the pickiness study, women in the 40s and above demographic are left with a serious lack of men to choose from. Said it in my other video from just like a week ago, is, is once, once out of the 30s, man, that's it. That's it. Women's, women's choices are really thinned out. It's no secret that women talk about a man's shortage because if you're a woman over 40, there's a significant drop in the number of men around your age who will elect to date you instead of a woman in her mid to late 30s or younger. That's what I'm adding in there. Whether or not single men in their 40s are picky because they're holding out for a Nobel Prize winning supermodel or because these still single men are likely to have been picky their whole lives requires further investigation. So, What's our takeaway here? Well, first number one takeaway is like we've said before that guys, when you're in your 20, it's go, it's 20s, it's going to be tough because you know a 22 year old, 24 year old guy can date 22, 23, so on and so forth. But 22 year old guy is really not going to go out with a 26 year old, or a 26 year old woman is really not going to look at a 22 year old guy. Women almost always want them to be older. Now, once the, they enter the 30s, then they open up a little bit more and they say, okay, what's more important is going to be the financial security, maturity, his education, because these are the family years. And, and what's important in the family years? El dinero. So once those years go past, though, a lot of guys are learning, A, marriage, not a very good option. Option B, I still can date in the 20s and some of these 30-year-olds have gone crazy. Or C, um, I'll just keep enjoying my single life and wait until I'm in my 40s. And it's like I said in the other video, 40s are available, 30s are available, 20s are available. To a woman in the 40s, 40s are available. 50s, 40s and 50s are available. 60s are available. But, you know, they're not going to... They, I mean, suppose, yes, there are women out there that are dating younger. Um... Madonna's, I think, in her 60s or 70s, and she's dating somebody who's like 23. Um, but he's not hes not an engineer for a corporation. He just he looks like a backup dancer that's good looking. So, so the, the, the stage changes a little bit. So again, this is just more proof that number one, don't bother with the dating sites. Just don't bother. And number two, even if you get to be 30s, 40s, something like that, things are going to open up for you a little bit. Okay, so it could be because at my age, Financially, I'm so much more secure than I was in 20s and 30s because I've had more time to plan, more time to save. I know more. I'm more secure with my own self. Just things get better. So a lot of guys in their 20s also have a lot. Of, a lot everything's tough when you're in your 20s and you're a guy. And everything's easy mode when you're a girl. In 30s, things are going to start to shift around for you. And I think late 30s, early 40s, knowing now what I know, I'd love my my health and my physical strength and my endurance and my ability to run and joints don't hurt if you sleep wrong. <laughs> you guys that are a little bit older will know what I'm talking about there where you go to bed and you wake up and ah, I slept wrong and I pinched a muscle in my back. That's not an 18-year-old guy problem. 
But would I go back to that age only if I only if I could take my brain with me, if I could go back knowing what I know now, would I go back when I was younger? But would I go back and do it all over again? I don't think so. Uh, maybe I might go back five or eight years, but I don't know. I'm pretty good at where I am right now, to be honest with you. Um, as as the, the physical ailments pop up, the mental acuity and, and clarity come through. And I think it's a, I think it's a wash. I think it's an even. So, so hang in there guys, but get off those dating sites. Guys, if you'd like to support my work, links are below. Thank you for those that have. And the best way you can support me, like, comment, share, subscribe. So you can see my stuff that doesn't get put out and recommended because that happens with this kind of content and go back and check out some of my older work. I put a lot of videos out for you guys and, and, uh, all of it's timely. None of it's really related to a specific date and time so you could watch something from three months ago and it'll be no different than today as far as timeliness and all that good stuff i'll leave it there this is better bachelor i am joker and remember 30s and 40s are easy mode for guys just hang in there